Hi everybody, your old buddy RJ Storm here. So we're uh, we're around um, Guangzhou Mar, uh, Guangzhou Men, actually. You would pronounce this. This is <coughs> some areas of some old uh, uh, little hutongs and nice old buildings kicking around. A lot of local people still live here. And um, there's my wife way up there. <coughs> and one of the things you could see is that these little places are nestled within a whole bunch of big buildings, and all these buildings are slated to come down. Now, needless to say, um, a lot of the local residents are uh, upset at the government because they feel that, uh, <laughs> well, they don't want to move. Now, a lot of people did move, and they've been well compensated, and they have the right to come back here if they want and lay claim to um, new buildings. <clears throat> this, this is uh, there's some things you may never see again. Hot water tank sitting at the top, or perhaps a supply tank for a toilet, but it's probably just a hot water tank. Over here is some little, little farming <laughs> going on. Um, but anyway, there is a holdout of a couple hundred people who still live here, and they really don't want to move at all. And you could see that's one of the older little buildings in the background. I see that many places, if they had new windows or something, they, they took those or maybe they took them for scrap metal. But what you're seeing probably in another week is going to be gone. And you can see there's outside of our little circle here. Uh, this is um, right, uh, where are we? Uh, um, uh, Guangming uh, Chaodong, right around there. And so you could see these big buildings off in the distance and new ones amidst us. And there's some of the locals playing uh, chess in a restaurant that's open at night time with their pigeons that they keep up there. But all this will be gone, like I said, in about a week. Um, there's banners up where the people are very upset. They think it's unfair. And, uh, I can see that. No one wants to see their home that they've had for many generations um, get raised to the ground. But this is a little, a little view of what once was, and all of Beijing was made up of these little buildings, and so now they're, they're going to be taken away. So we just want to let everybody see that before they go, and that's the report from this day. July, uh, no, uh, where are we? Probably about August 18th, 2009. <laughs> yeah, with the, uh, with the little buildings, people would sit out late at night, and everybody talks and passes time, just like life in the country back in America. But all this is passing, and it's really something how the old meets the new. Kind of a kind of a strange setting, really. Well, I guess that's that's progress. Okay, there's my wife up there walking along. We'll talk later. Bye bye now.